Today I'm going to show you how to build the perfect fireplace. Welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Today I'm going to add a fireplace and chimney to my little farmhouse cabin here. I just got done completing it. Still need some detail around this front here, I'm not sure. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is determine where I want it. And I'm going to want it on this wall here. So that would put the fireplace right here and the chimney right on the other side. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so we're going to work on the first phase of this fireplace. It's taking a log. I need to work with one. Now what I'm looking for is to place it right in front. Get it as close as you can and you may have to shift it left to right because you want it to come out even so use this post as your guideline. So it looks pretty good. That was actually probably the best I can do. Gonna need a second one. Again, as close as you can get it. Okay, so we're gonna do a third one, so yeah, a third one. Alright, so we're just gonna do three of them to start. Alright, it looks pretty straight. Uh, this middle one looks a little long, but I think it's good. Now that we have three logs on the ground right behind this wall, now this is important, your level of your house has everything to do with how you do this. So I'm level, like ground level, literally this is the highest part of my house before it grows. If you have your house on say, let's just say you have a half log and that's how high your house is. So this third log up would be the actual floor in your house. You're gonna wanna stack three logs on top, uh, an extra three basically just to get that height. So it's the same thing I'm doing. You're just gonna have to start with this height here. Same with a full log. You just have to stack them all the way up. All right, now I'm gonna start with this first one. I'm gonna stack it up so high. Because on this first set and the second set, we're gonna cut a hole in the first, first th uh, three, not the ground level, but one, two, three. We're gonna chop a window in that one. All right, now on the second one here, we're gonna go the same height. Again, I probably uh, uh, don't have to go that high, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, and then on this third one, I just need to go 
one, two, three. This is uh, up to this level here. Okay, that should put us above the windows that I'm going to cut out. Again, I'm going to cut out these three here, these three here, and the back side. So let's go ahead and go inside. Get our axe. Now I'm going to cut out the opening to the fireplace. Okay, you just want to go three high on the inside. And then we're going to crouch and cut out three on the next couple layers of logs. Once you make one cut while you crouch, you'll stay crouched. phase now if you do this you don't have to use this second cutout you can go as, as shallow as just as first it's just when I put my rocks and I just want to make sure I have enough room all right now that we have our opening everything looks kind of lined up it's important to have these first two lined up at the beginning like I said just because of this detail here want everything to say kind of square that's good all right next we're going to try to plank inside of here because we can see the dirt and plants on the outside okay next step now that we have the three in there we need to we're going to have to plank uh the inside there and this one that it will only let me put the plank on the first one and I don't want to do that just yet so in order to do that we need to square it up all right we're gonna attach a log here we're gonna run one this way and square it up this is what I mean by square it up all right so now we have another, basically another floor square lined up level with the floor square inside. That's why I'm saying if you had a plank, or not a plank, a uh, half log or three quarter log or even a quarter log, you can still do this. You just have to add more logs to get to get the height you want. Okay, now we can grab the planks and see if we can start planking. I want it to run the opposite direction if I can. Let me get this. There we go. Grab a couple more. Probably don't need this many. get one underneath here in the front. I guess not. Alright. Let me get rid of these. Alright, here's what we got right now. 
Again, it's up to you is if you just want to go one deep or two deep. It's just depending on where you want your fireplace. You can put your fireplace here and just go one deep. I'm going to put it more back here. Yeah, it just looks more natural in this way because of your opening we're going to have. Or should I say make the opening, covered it up. Okay, now we have our fire in our fireplace. Let's work on the outside. Okay, so now we're just going to close it up. Wait, I didn't want to do that. We're going to put post. Make sure you put post. Very important. And the reason is just so we can uh, just connect along the way. Like that. But I guess if you wanted to look where... There was no post on the side, just blocks. That's fine. I just like the structural aspect of it. All right, I just boxed the first level. Okay, now I want to show you so at the beginning when I said it looked like I was a little off went off to the one side or the other. So my logs were a little to the right, no big deal. But I'm going to show you what happens, why you want to center. You can see the logs sticking through this side. So the more off center you are, the more they're going to intrude um, out one side or the other or stagger. I'll show you what I mean inside. So if you look right here you can see how the back is more offset to the left uh, this is this is not an issue um, just saying be careful because that's going to determine um, how far out these ends will stick but we're looking good so now we're going to work on this next tier so I'm going to do the same basically this is the same concept all I'm doing building uh, building up uh, this is where it's going to get tricky because I have an angle here and let me go ahead and do this one it all depends on your roof line so if you're going on a square I'm going on a pitch if you're flat you should, you know you may have an easier adjustment So we have to make this adjustment on on the roof. So I'm going to build a larger scaffold. We'll do it on this side. needs to come up a quarter it looks like let's see if we can add a quarter We 
have to fix this end. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Take this out. Okay, I think this pitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some of these planks on both sides and do a quick play on this uh, pitch. So I'll, for now, I'm just going to what I got on there. We already know this needs a quarter. Uh, no big deal. Let's just put that there. And I'm going to remove this plank. So basically I'm just going to take this corner apart. So let me work on that real quick. Alright, now I exposed my attic. Took off two sides just below this post here. Now we know I have to add quarter log on this side to square up and this is a quarter log uh, too high so I will take these off put them here for now now it will let me move this the only problem I have to cut a quarter off and put it back and it won't let me put it back because the wall is going to be there and then I would have to start removing yeah walls and planks so instead I'm just going to cut that quarter off and I didn't grab it all right now I'm gonna grab two more one more post all right let me line this up Right. So now we're square, and I have a quarter here. There, now I put my quarter back on. Uh, so it's better just to cut it, do not take it out. It causes more problems that way. And then I need one more quarter from this three quarter piece. Grab that. Stick it here. No, I can't put that there yet. I have to put my ends in first. I mean my pitch back. Hopefully. Alright, now we have to put our pitch back down. And you can see it won't let me. But it, yeah, it just won't let me angle it down. So how to fix that is we're going to take this one out here and then we can angle it down. Same with here, angle it down. We had to get it off of this uh, piece here because it was connected tight into here. I, I have no idea why, but it is what it is. All right. And now I need the other quarter piece. That's right here. Okay, so it won't let me sit it down yet. So I think what I need to do... Grab this. blanket now I'm able to do it so put put a plank on it if you have a issue where it just wants to lift it so once you put a plank on it uh, it's not going to give you the option to lift because you just created the structure so it's not going to tear things apart that's just how it is now we can 
add this guy in. Alright, so now we are squared. So I'm going to get some more logs up here and continue this um, one right here. Okay, so I'm going to add the inside of the chimney up. I probably don't have to because you're not going to see it. Just so I can get above the roof line to work with it. I can close to the rest of the pitch up. And I'm missing something here. There we go. our pitch all right now I want to extend the chimney up even a little bit further uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish on this side first all right let's do that all right there you can see I have the second phase front wall done and uh, now I'm going to add to this side of the chimney and that side Probably don't need this anymore. Okay, the second tier phase of the chimney's done. So there's going to be one more detail you're going to want to know at the top before you continue on. Restock some. Okay, so this is where our issue is going to be if you don't catch it. So we stuck this quarter log on here so we can just square it up. And then we stuck another quarter log back on top because we had to cut it for the top. So we're still a quarter log uh, difference. So we need to make that difference up because if we don't, I'm sure these logs offset right here just don't look right. So we need to hide that. Let me stick this back over here. Ooh, no, no, don't want that. Let's grab this quarter log and build it up again. Okay, let's see if we can square it up. Okay, that worked. Okay, now what I'm going to want to do is you want to keep you want to keep everything uniform. So I'm going to need some more quarters, uh, two more for the outside of the chimney. I'll show you what I mean. Basically, I want to complete the top of my post going up. So like so, and woo. All right, like that. Okay, here's where I'm at. This is as high as I believe I want my chimney. I uh, need to close this area up somehow. Alright, first thing we want to do is light this. Okay, so you're going to want to dress all this up. Um, I'm going to add a couple 
shelves to the side. All right, so I'm doing my custom shelves. So I just need another one in this wall. Let me get in here. I think I want to get it pretty close. Probably go ahead and layer out there. Close it back up. These are the same shelves I did in my kitchen, uh, kitchen oven video, and custom cabinets. If you ain't seen it, check it out. And if you like this video so far, go ahead and hit that like. Especially if you s survived this long. All right, now I'm gonna build my cabinets. Let's see what do I need here. Alright, one done. And two done. Alright, looks good. Just check out the outside. Okay, it doesn't show. We're looking good. Alright, now we're going to build a mantle. So we're going to need two of these. I'm going to start right there. All right, let's get another one. Let's try to connect it same level. I go over a little a little bit more nope, I messed it up all right here we go right there okay that's for our mantle let's put some sticks in it grab these two here that looks a little high uh, let me build it and then I can move it Right there, that is a lot better. Okay, so far, here you go. Here's the fireplace. Now let's go outside and talk about this wasted space. Okay, we completed the top. Now the only thing left is you want to do something with any kind of space you got next to it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just continue the floor. Work on this side here. Square that over. that over and plank it. Alright, now, now that we have it 
plank. We're just gonna build like um, some post walls. So we just want one there, one here. Here. Okay, now that we got our post up, I'm gonna go ahead and square this up. With this build, I can angle this slightly up to here, but when I put my planks on, I, for some reason, it's not latching on this side. Uh, probably because something I did in the build. No biggie. Okay, I'm making one change. As we go, I'm gonna go ahead, I had to remove the planks on both sides. I had to add these posts in the front. And I'm trying to take this post out here. And I can't, so now I have to remove this one. Now I can take this one out and put that one back in. And because it looks the same, I'll add that there and re-plank the top so that I have more of an open work area here. It looks a lot better. All right, we are finally complete. Let's just check out the outside first. We have our chimney. I got some smoke coming out the top. Possibly can go up probably another two locks, make it look better. Honestly, I think another one or two logs will make it look better. I got some work area out here, a couple birdhouses. Just utilizing the space that's left over by creating this chimney. items up here at least. Alright, there's our mantle, our shelves, and our fireplace. And that's how you add a fireplace to your build. Looks pretty cool. The outside, the inside. And here is a different look you can do with your fireplace. It's up to you to decorate it how you want it. This one has the mantel up high with the skull. Got more rocks in the front. However you want to do it, just play with it. Hope you like this video. Hit that like and hit that subscribe. I am trying to hit at least that thousand mark on subscribes. It's much appreciated and I have plenty of more future builds to go. So I hope you like the video and until the next adventure, this is King Drama. Bye.